let's go up here to part properties and come down here to manufacturing operations. In manufacturing operations, this is where we're gonna identify what dimensions are gonna be affected in what operation. For example, let's say we're just getting a blank of aluminum for this and we're going to rough it in OP10. Well, let's say we're just gonna make a blank of the outside in OP10 and it's a three axis machine. We're just gonna do the overall, the width there. There's a little step distance there and the overall length and maybe the overall height and maybe this little step height right here. And let's say that's gonna be our OP10. We come over here and simply click add operation. And now we have an operation added and we have multiple colors here to define um, multiple operations. And you can add as many as you want. You can box select them like this and say, I want to add that operation and it changes it to a different color so you can easily identify what operations are um, affected or what dimensions are affected by what operation. And for OP10, for example, we can click our pencil again and we can put in here if it's associated to a specific work cell, if it's associated with a specific machine, um, a process. We'll get into the process when we, um, in a couple of weeks when we talk about our APQP documentation automation. Um, but we can also just define this, whatever we want to call it. Just call it the roughing operation, for example, and hit OK. And now we look up over here and we do have our roughing op is our op 10. In addition to that, we can come down here into our bill of characteristics and we see we have manufacturing operation. We can select right from here our roughing op. And now for those customers that create in process sheets for their um, operation, for their specific operations, we just did that. But more importantly, we didn't change the numbering sequence of any of the numbers. They're still the same numbers and they're, so they can be correlated to the final inspection. So we, now we have an in-process uh, print. We can also come down here because, and I'm going to select all of these, um, because what, why? Well, in a roughing up, you're not going to, you know, met, uh, machine it to the finished dimension, right? You're going to leave some stock on there for, um, for the finishing up. So we can come in here for only this operation and we can update the nominal value. Let's say we want to add 20 foul to this value. We can add, subtract, we can go by percentage, whatever you really want to do, we can do here. We can change tolerances. We can even assign gauge category for this operation say, hey, I want to measure this with my blade micrometer or whatever it is. Um, caliper, you can change dimension types, you can change anything you want, but you're only changing it again for this operation, not for the final. Once we hit apply and close, now, if we look, all of our nominals have been adjusted by that 20 thousandths. So that's the new nominal. If you, but just for this operation, we can also come up here to inspection reports and click on inspection planner. And you could put whatever template you want right here. This is just a generic template that we have. And now here it is in Excel. This is just simply an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we get a lot of questions. Well, can I change it? Can I do anything? It, it's in Excel. You can do anything that you can do in Excel. Um, but you'll see that this is only for OP10. And here's our updated nominals. Notice the 20 thousands has been added. Um, identifying them, uh, what we want them to use for, again, the planning process. Um, this one is our key characteristic that we had. And now they can just simply enter this information in. Please visit HiQA to request a demo and learn more.